हेलो डियर व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग सब्सक्राइब टू आवर एस ए ओ पी एकेडमिक यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन नोटिफिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ ड्रग थेरेपी इन रीनल डिसऑर्डर्स फ्रॉम डोसेज रेजिमेंट्स एंड इंट्रावेनस एडमिक्शर्स एज पर सिलेबस फ्रेम बाय स्वामी रामानंद तीर्थ मराठवाड़ा यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड़ for fourth year b pharmacy at semester subject is clinical pharmacy and drug interaction subject code is bph 87 the contents are introduction relationship between dosing regimen and the effect of a drug reasons to optimize doses regimens selected examples of drugs that require special consideration when prescribing to patients with kidney diseases and when should the usual dosing regimen be adjusted from convenience point of view in this video we will cover introduction and relationship between dosing regimen and the effect of a drug so the introduction consists of the drugs are an important and frequently used treatment for patients with kidney diseases the knowledge of basic pharmacokinetic principles is important for all prescribers but it is particularly important for nephrologist and other physicians who routinely see patients with organ dysfunction that affects drug handling prescribing to patients with kidney disease is complicated because kidney disease has multiple effect on pharmacokinetics and these effects are dependent on both the drug and the clinical context for example kidney disease may be chronic slowly progressive over months or years or acute that is rapidly evolving and each scenario requires a different approach to drug dosing understanding how changes to physiology affects the pharmacokinetics of a given drug is essential to rational drug use and the optimization of treatment regimens failure to properly account for the effect of kidney disease when designing appropriate drug dosing regimens can predispose an individual to treatment failure or adverse drug events Let us understand the relationship between dosing regimen and the effect of a drug. An individual's response to a drug is determined by both pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of that drug. Pharmacodynamics is concerned with the effect of the drug on the body, including interactions between the drug, its target, and downstream biochemical effects. Pharmacokinetics describes the effect of the body on a drug and reflects the physiologic processes of absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. Each of these processes may be altered in patients with kidney disease and affect therapeutic outcomes. The concentration time profile of a drug reflects the net effects of these pharmacokinetic processes after drug administration as shown in the graph the concentration time profile approximates the clinical effect of most drugs and drug exposure relates to the maximum plasma concentration cmax and or the area under the concentration time curve that is auc in general high drug exposures increases the risk of adverse drug reactions and low drug exposures are ineffective when the changes in pharmacokinetics due to kidney disease and other conditions are understood the dosing regimen can be adjusted so that the concentration time profile is optimized for the individual so for further readings the viewers can go through the references as given in this slide so dear viewers in this particular video we saw introduction 
and relationship between dosing regimen and the effect of a drug. For remaining details we have to wait until our next video. So dear viewers, thank you for watching, take care and happy e-learning.